So we're back inside our interchange uh, project, and we're just going to look at this area of the road over here on the um, on the east side. So let's turn off our, our reference files here so we can see uh, what we've already done. Now, now obviously I didn't have the time here in this um, uh, video to to basically design the whole system for you. So I've taken the liberty to go ahead and and do a little bit of work beforehand. So we've set up some catchments or some drainage areas. Uh, we've assigned some different co runoff coefficients for that, and we've we've pretty much designed a, a very simple system here already with some different catch basins and some pipes in here um, as well. And and once again, we just kind of did this to to get ahead of the um, of the game. So what we want to do now. We'll turn these references back on, so now you can see what we've got there. And we want to design an outfall. So I'm going to open a 3D view here. So once again, this is what Open Roads allows us to do, design in 2D and 3D at the, um, at the same time. So I'm going to just kind of maneuver that in 3D. We'll do a tile so we can see them both uh, pretty easily as we, as we work. So I want to go up here <clears throat> to my um, uh, to my tools here. So you can see I've done some analysis on this already, and kind of decided where I want my uh, where I want my outfall to be. So I'm going to come back over here to my subsurface utility tools. I'm going to go out to the layout option, and I'm going to select place node. Now um, it's notice it's saying select reference element for elevation. So I'm going to select the terrain. So it'll be able to calculate my ground uh, elevation at whatever um, location, uh, you know, horizontal location I decide. So I'm just going to pick something over in here. Um, we're going to set it. We're going to rotate it. And we're going to design that outfall. And you can see that's designed not only in 2D, but it's designed, <coughs> excuse me, in 3D as, as well. So now we want to place the conduit or the pipe between these. And so we will um, select our feature, which is a circular pipe. We'll select the, uh, out, um, the node we're coming from, and we'll select the outfall, and we'll place that pipe in there. Um, as we as we go um, and so again that's just how this is placed and how it's designed you can see under my subsurface utility model um, you can see my conduits my drainage areas and my nodes if I want to create a profile from this I just select the the network that I want to create a profile run from and it will um, create that profile run if I want to go over and, and bring that up I can come over to my profile runs now select that profile run and we can say open that analysis profile and you can see we can view that very quickly and very easily so this is how we can get our proposed drainage into the model as well as our utilities